What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international cinematographer and colorist, and chances are, like myself, you are stuck at home right now as well. In order to keep ourselves busy, chances are you might be playing some video games, which got me thinking about how I got into color grading in the first place. You see, I refuse to one, go to an art school and pay for an education, and something I could learn online. But furthermore, I also didn't have a camera to really get into filmmaking. To be honest, my interest in filmmaking was piqued by color grading video games. And a lot of you guys know me from this YouTube channel, but you don't know about my gaming channel that I had in the past, which was based around a video game, which the ultimate goal was to make it look as real as possible through color grading. So I thought I would take you guys back to my roots, not only show you how I got into color grading, but if there's any gamers out there, how you can color grade your footage as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, we have my clip here of the airplane taking off in Flight Simulator, so on and so forth. And all we're going to do is just add a little bit of extra realism to this video game. So in my first note, I know the first thing I want to do is add some contrast, because this is looking pretty flat, and in real life, you'd have more of a contrasty environment. So in my Curves tool, all I'm going to do is just drag that contrast down right there just like that now you can see already that makes a huge 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 difference in the amount of realism we can even push the highlights up a little bit right there and i like that so a little bit of contrast the next thing i always like to do back when i was color grading gaming footage is i would add some mid-tone detail just some mid-tone contrast to make everything pop a little bit more so again right there and then bump up the saturation to combat the desaturation effect so you're going to come into this little tab down right here we're just going to move the saturation so before and after now to be honest this is really all you have to do for the majority of your gaming footage but i want to take this a step further and show you guys how you can get a little bit more creative so add a second node see how i left clicked add a second node what we're going to do is we are going to separate the window from the cockpit itself. So we're gonna go into a power window and we're going to select this window first. So let's give us some ourselves some more screen real estate here. We're gonna zoom out just a bit. So we're, at, so we're gonna go to 50 so we can get the outside edges. So we're gonna go here, 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 and then here. That's going to be window one. Then we're going to click add a curve. And then we can also go here, here. And we're just going to trace those again. Doesn't matter what the outside looks like. You just want to make sure it's stuck there. And then one more curve for this window right here. Now what you can do to make all of these softer is just go ahead and boost their softness up. So we have 2.7 there, 2.7 there, or around 2.7 and around 2.7 there. Now in order to get these to stay, because of course this is going to move, you can go into your tracker and you can track forward and track back in all of these power windows. That is what I would recommend you do. We are not going to do it in the sake of this tutorial for time purposes, but that's how you get them to stay there and make it look realistic and not show that you've color graded it. So now what we have is the outside selected. When we come in and we look at what we've keyed out. So now what we can do is we can go in and adjust the outside and what we want that to look like. So I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit and in the highlights, I'm going to add a nice little warm color here. And what we can do with these log wheels is we can just select the high range so we can figure out how much of those highlights we're really selecting and about right there is where I want it. And then in the shadows, I just want a nice little teal color and maybe desaturate just a bit so it doesn't look overpowered and turn that brightness down again because we don't want it too, too powerful. We can turn that off and see what it looks like. So right here, again, we already have a more realistic looking image. This is just to my taste. Um, you can color grade this however you want. 
I'm gonna go in and change the softness a little bit just to make sure that we're not over getting that little blur that's right there. Let me turn this off. You can see now it looks a little bit more realistic. The final step that you can do to create some color contrast is going to be to add a node and then add a layer and select that alpha output so we can now color grade the inside of the cockpit. And we're just gonna make that a little bit warmer. And maybe we'll boost the highlights a little bit and bring down the shadows. I'm not even gonna mess with the shadows. I like where that's at right here. And so boom, here it is before and after we have created a really cool cinematic image for our video game. And I'm actually gonna tone down the outside a little bit because it is a bit much. You cannot push video game footage the same way you would be able to push um, real life footage. It just doesn't work that way. So I'm gonna tone down on some of those adjustments, but I am gonna keep my, my cockpit right about in that nice warm spectrum and really keep it away from any like purples or blues. Maybe just some teals in the shadows. Right there, I like that. Before, after. And that, my friends, is how you color grade video game footage in DaVinci Resolve. As you guys can see, color grading your gaming footage is a simple way to not only set yourself apart, but also add a premium feel to your footage, as well as make it look more realistic. I hope you guys are able to use some of these tips when color grading your gaming footage, if that's your thing. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications if you have not. Be sure to follow me on my social media, the links are in the description down below, as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. And if you guys would like more videos on color grading gaming footage, then be sure to send me some of your footage to my email, which is down below, and leave me a comment down below saying you want more. And remember, if you guys are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, every day, airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.